Buckner. Four members of Cape Cod Coliseum in South Yarmouth. Just about every major rock band in the 70s and 80s played there, from Aerosmith to ZZ Top. The building is a warehouse now. You can still see the lettering burned into the side of the building, which, by the way, was once owned by wrestling tycoon Vince McMahon. But the Coliseum closed down on June 4th, 1984. It's the day the music died here in Yarmouth. But decades later, that music scene has been revived in this part of the Cape at the aptly named The Music Room. It's so sort of like an all-encompassing celebration of an era now lost in time, the, the rock and roll era. The Music Room also features a recording studio, exclusive rock and roll photography. It's a place where you can listen to live music in an intimate setting from rock and roll to jazz and reggae that will have you... The Music Room, a bit of a museum, too, where you will find personal instruments from members of the legendary rock band Boston. There's a piano of lead singer Brad Delp and the drum kit Sib Hashian used during the band's first tour, supporting its record-setting debut album. The Music Room opened about a year ago. And what's the reaction been? Wow, I can't believe there's something like this on Cape Cod. You come out of Cape Cod and you come into something that's unique and particularly special. So at the music room, you feel like you're in New York City and Vegas. It really is a first-class operation. Those guys have done a great job over there. And by the way, tonight, our good buddy Gary Hoey, guitar virtuoso, is going to be playing the music room. Are, are, Gary, you're going to go... Oh, yes, I love Gary Hoey. He rocks. There we go. Gary, Gary getting some love.